a hundred thousand dollars what's up money geeks mr v here welcome to another video guys so in today's video we're going to be continuing a series on uh, my dividend portfolio so last month i put out a video showing you guys how i am in the process of building a hundred thousand dollar dividend portfolio so if you haven't already checked out that video i'm gonna hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out so every month moving forward i'm gonna be giving you guys an update as to uh what i'm doing with the portfolio show you guys the performance show you guys the dividends that are getting paid into the into the portfolio and how they're getting reinvested and just show you guys the overall growth of the of the portfolio as well as new stocks that i plan on buying as soon as, soon as i get extra money to add to that portfolio so um we're going to be doing this it would be a monthly series where i'll show you guys i mean it's going to be open book um you see everything that's in there um how much i have in that account and everything so you guys can go with me um on this crazy ride and if you're interested in um also copying my portfolio or doing the exact same thing um you can definitely leave a comment below i'll share that portfolio with you you can copy the portfolio modify it or just share it with other people that you think um want to start building a dividend portfolio so uh before we actually get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about earning money saving money investing and building wealth so if that's something that you find interesting or you know people that are interested please hit that subscribe button and share this video with people that can benefit from it so we're gonna jump on the computer so we're gonna walk through the portfolio again i'm gonna give you guys all the update um this is okay this is my my m1 uh, dividend portfolio like i said um you see here i have three main piles um and the, the concept of pile i've actually spoken about this in our previous videos so if you haven't already or you don't understand what the pile uh, system is uh, you can go watch my other videos i really break it down in there but basically um i group my my investing in two different sectors as you can see um i have from a i have real estate i have technology and i i'm building some other ones like energy utility retail that i'm going to be adding to this um this portfolio as we we go forward so um, as of today, the value of my portfolio is eight thousand six hundred and thirty and eighty-six cents. We have um, we've gained over six hundred and ninety dollars um, uh, since the beginning of the year um, that we started this portfolio. So, um, and then the portfolio has grown twenty-one percent, which is really really awesome. Um, so if you can see down here, this is the kind of breakdown. So the way the portfolio structure is structured right now, I have 40% um, uh, uh, into um, technology, 40% in real estate, and 20% into pharmaceutical. Um, but uh, if I, if, if, you, if you notice here, like the, I have more money into my pharmaceutical than I have in um, these other guys. So that's why this pharmaceutical pile here sticks out. But what I just want to show you guys is for the most part is the gains that we've had over over um, you know, the past month, which is awesome. And I've, I also added some money in there. So um, what I did is I, I took out money from um, some of my other investments and moved them over. Um, and so, so now this is what I'm working with and every month now I'm going to be buying um, this put buying more um, dividend stocks and putting them into this portfolio and just growing it so um, it, it, again M1 does a really good job of showing you um, how the breakdown is so if you see here my market gain is six hundred and eighteen dollars and ninety seven cents and then as of today uh, I've actually gained seventy one dollars and fifty eight cents in dividends paid out to me, which is awesome. That's exactly what you're looking for um, as you, you you build your dividend portfolio. So this is really good. Um, and, and we buy as we buy more more dividend paying stocks. This amount is going to keep going up. So imagine that every month you're getting one hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars coming in from dividends. That is awesome. You can do a ton of stuff with that money. But in this case, I'm actually in the process. Uh, I'm setting up so that it, that dividends would reinvest itself um, as, as we move forward. So you see here the title of my dividend portfolio is now growth and income. So see, we're getting the growth here, which is the stocks are, are, are growing. And then we're getting dividends, which is uh, what here. So this is the income part. 
this one and this is the growth part so this is growth and income dividend portfolio so for those of you um if you want to copy the name i'm absolutely fine with that you can go ahead and copy it so now let's break down this let's go into each of these and see what we have so if i go into my pharmaceutical pharmaceutical has done really good it's gone up eight percent um just in the past um uh, past month which is great um we've gained 326 dollars um which is awesome too so um if you can see here i have um, um abv which is a pharmaceutical company guild and then uh merck so these are merck is a little bit bleeding but again since it's a dividend pay um, um stock i'm not really really worried about it i know things are going to be just fine so um yeah, I, I really, I really, I, I mean, Ab, uh, AbV is in the process of um, doing a merger. So the price of this stock might go up uh, relatively more, which I'm super excited about. So, and then it, uh, it, which is something that if they, if it goes up, that growth comes into play. So we'll get the growth and then see right now, I haven't gotten any dividends from this stock. So next month, or I think some of them pay quarterly dividends. And then, so I'll get that dividends as soon as um, uh, the, the, the money is ready they'll deposit that in my account and i can just um reinvest it which is sweet so that is that for for uh pharmaceutical so if we go back into uh real estate i have one two three four five um options in my real estate uh again at some point what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to take out um take one or two of these and, and and add them to this positions just so i'm not heavily into real estate just to reduce my risk because right now having five uh um, five options in real estate is not really healthy because if real estate were to take a little uh, a downturn i would pay the price and i don't want that so i'm going to consolidate some of this and put it over here or even move it into some other sectors because i mean like i said i'm building a um, a pile for energy i'm building another one for utility another one for retail um, and i'm going to show you guys here shortly so that's what's in there uh dividend paid so far here is 60 dollars and the growth has been uh 99 dollars which is sweet i mean i'm enjoying this um then um technology is the last one here that we have so again um this is what i have in my technology which is great um growth has been uh, 190 and dividend is eleven dollars so um, I know this month I haven't gotten dividends paid this month yet so that's still coming up so next month in, in March you guys will see the dividends that were paid um, this month um, in, in, in the account so I'm looking I'm looking forward to that all right so now if I go up to uh, let's go up to research I want to show you guys um, the other stuff that I'm working on. so go under my pile so right now I have these different options or, or piles that I've created, but I'm not using it yet. Do you have any questions? Again, guys, um, this portfolio or these uh, piles that I have here, um, there is they give they give you the option to be able to share them. So if you if you're looking for um, if you're looking for uh, something to get started with, see um, if I come here, I can share this pile with you. So reach out, send any information, questions, whatever you have. Uh, let me know. I'll definitely reach out to you um and um and, and share this pile with you so you can you know either copy modify do whatever you want to do um uh, again um do your research before you start investing um that is investing in the stock market is a risky business and it's no guarantees so do your research um so let's let's go back to let's go back to invest and so this is a home guys um yeah that's the update we're doing pretty good um like again like i said just quick recap market gain is 626 dollars for the seven cents and dividend gain for the month is so far year to date let me not say for the month year to date is 71 dollars and 58 cents which is awesome um we would uh catch up again next month all right i'll show you guys how things are going hopefully things keep going is as good as um it's going on now so that'd be super super exciting so as you can see guys this is my dividend portfolio i'm super excited about this um it's growing as you can see um i'm making baby steps again don't look at the numbers to start with the most important thing is for you to get started get started 
um, you can start with as low as a hundred dollars, but get in the process. Learn. I don't want you to start learning with a uh, hundred thousand dollars, but I want you to start learning with a hundred dollars. So that way, if anything would happen to that one hundred dollars, it's not as painful as if something would happen to five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars. So just to give you that perspective, so that you make the mistakes, and then by the time your portfolio starts to grow, you have all the knowledge that you need to actually manage it and enjoy those cool dividends. So. Question of the day, what do you think about dividend portfolio? Do you think it's something that you're interested in doing or you just think like, oh man, I can rather use my money and do something else? Let me know in the comment section. If you haven't already guys, subscribe to the channel, share this video and just give it that thumbs up um, on this video if you really enjoyed it. And as always, stay motivated.